selection, it's really always been a big thing for us at Naughty Dog. Um, with Uncharted, it wasn't any different. We really wanted to set the tone artistically and go with believable humans and take on this big challenge. But we wanted them to have a certain style to them. This is finally it. A lot of that involved really painting textures. All our textures are hand painted. We don't use any photos for our textures. That was a big part of it. We also knew that Uncharted was going to be a very, very heavily story-driven game. And so we had these characters that needed to act. And I just might let you live. So the PS2 versus the PS3 was a really big jump for us. When we were working on the PS2, we were able to have two to three textures per character. For Uncharted, we're looking at anywhere between 20 to 30 textures per character, which is a huge jump for us. In terms of the models of the characters, we were able to go up to high detailed 30 million polygon characters, which is then converted into texture maps, but that was unheard of during the PS2 times. On the PS3, however, we have the power now to really take on human characters and make them believable. This is something that, you know, was an incredibly overwhelming task, but we really took on head first. The PS3 was able to allow us to create subtleties that we wouldn't be able to do previously. Skin detail, pore detail, um, have, you know, anatomically correct body structures, elaborate facial expressions. These are all things that the power of the PS3 has really allowed us to actually create. For our modeling pipeline, we have a certain mesh that is a clean mesh that we take in to a program like ZBrush. We then sculpt the geometry and create these high detailed sculptures, uh, the kind of sculpture with wrinkles and poor detail. And from that, we take that information, we create a new re-optimized mesh, which is what actually ends up in the game. The purpose for that really allows us to define strong silhouettes. When you look at the character in the game, it has a very strong silhouette to it. To achieve cinematic quality, we looked at a lot of films and the kind of things they were doing. One of the things in film that we weren't able to do on the PS2 that we're able to do on the PS3 now is they have complex shaders and complex rendering techniques. That allows us to create multiple layers of textures that we can pipe into a shader that gives us complex skin. We also looked at a lot of rendering techniques that take place in film, post-blur effects, uh, specific lighting per character, soft shadows, all of these things is what really brings cinematic quality characters to life and we try to emulate those things in game. In order to create these characters, we knew as well that we were going to need an extensive amount of facial poses. Initially before on Jack Games we had somewhere between 60 and 80 poses. We figured for Uncharted we were going to need anywhere between 200 to 300 poses per character. There's so many small things inside of a character that really brings them to life. If one of those things is not working or is wrong, it breaks everything. So we had to really